Greetings everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News, and on March 1st, China sent 25 warplanes and three warships toward Taiwan. And now the United States has approved the potential sale of $619 million worth of new weapons to Taiwan, including missiles for its F-16 fleet, as the island reported a second day of large-scale Chinese Air Force incursions nearby. And we just mentioned that a moment ago. Now the arms sales are likely to further sour already tense ties between Washington and Beijing, which has repeatedly demanded such deals stop, viewing them as unwarranted support for the democratically governed Taiwan, an island which China still claims as its own territory. Now, the Pentagon said on Wednesday the U.S. State Department has approved the potential sale of Taiwan. It would be arms and equipment that includes 200 anti-aircraft advanced medium-range air to air missiles, that's AMRAM, and 100 AGM-88B harm missiles that can take out land-based radar stations. Now, China's foreign ministry said it was firmly opposed to the planned sale, adding that the U.S. should stop arms sales to and military contacts with Taiwan. So much happening in the world around us, my friends. Uh, world War 3.2, as I call it, seems to be at the door. That's when this whole thing goes kinetic with toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe action, perhaps, between NATO and Russia, NATO and China. This is when we see weaponry or will see weaponry. We will see more asymmetric warfare, hybrid warfare, cyber attacks, chem bio, who knows what, possibly even nuclear. It is coming, my friends. You have to believe. I can't say when. I don't know. But you would think it is soon. And it is best that we have our ducks in a row and be prepared spiritually through Christ's Holy Spirit, mentally, physically, psychologically, and emotionally. And please remember, the Word of God is written in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, which says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Press into Jesus, Yeshua, Hamashiach, and no matter what happens, have no fear. Take comfort, solace in Him, our Defender, our Intercessor, our Savior. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.